Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. Father, I ask, O oh God, that you will arise and scatter our enemies in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for confusing the language of those who plot and scheme against us like you did, Father, in Genesis 11. Father, you showed up and you confused their language so that they couldn't understand each other. And Father, you caused them to scatter all over the earth and they had to stop building what they were trying to build. Father, I ask, so oh God, that you will release confusion into the camp of the enemy, into the camp of the enemy. Father God, confuse their tongues. And Lord, I ask, O oh God, that you would destroy every plot, plans, and scheme of the enemy against our households in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I thank you that Psalm 68 and verse 1 is fulfilled. Father God, you arise and your enemies and our enemies, they're scattered in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you are a mighty warrior. Father, I thank you that my persecutors will stumble and not prevail. They will fall, Father, and they will fail and be thoroughly disgraced. Their dishonor will never be forgotten. I release Jeremiah 20 and verse 11 to the camp of the enemy, Father God. Father, you are a mighty warrior champion, El Gabor, El Shaddai, Yahweh Sabaoth. Father, I thank you that my persecutors will stumble and, Father, they will never prevail. And they will fail and be thoroughly disgraced. And their dishonor will never be forgotten in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for Job 5 verse 12. Frustrate the plans of schemers so that the work of their hands will not succeed in the name of Jesus. Father God, you said in Romans 8, what then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. In the name of Jesus, nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Father, I thank you that overwhelming victory belongs to us. We are more than conquerors. Greater is he who lives inside of us than the devil in the world, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you fight the battles for us. And the Egyptians we see today, we shall see them no more forever, Father God. You are a God of justice. Father, I release Isaiah 61 and verse 8. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. In my faithfulness, I will reward my people and make an everlasting covenant with them. Father, I thank you that you hasten your word to perform your word. I release Isaiah 54 and verse 15. If anyone does attack you, it will not be my doing. And whoever attacks you will surrender to you. Father God, I thank you that our enemies will gather, must scatter now in the name of Jesus. Father, I release 2 Timothy 4, 18. The Lord will rescue all of us from every evil attack and he will bring us safely to his heavenly kingdom. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus that we're in your supreme courts of heaven. A river of fire is flowing, coming out from before you, Abba, where thousands upon thousands attend you. 10,000 times 10,000 stand before you. And the court is seated and the books are open, Father God. And in your book, it is written about us that we have the victory, that we are the head and not the tail above only never beneath, oh God, and we have justice. From this day forward, we have justice. No weapon formed against us will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we have a right to condemn. We burn every evil tongue. We burn the curse words right now with the blood of Jesus and with Holy Ghost fire. Father, you said in Psalm 37, do not fret me. 
because of those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they shall soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn and your vindication like the noonday sun. Father God, I thank you that we are still before you, O oh God, and we wait patiently for you. We will not fret when people succeed in their ways, Father God, when they carry out their wicked scheme, Father. We will refrain from anger and turn from wrath, O oh God. We will not fret. It leads only to evil, Father God. But Father God, those who trust in you, Father, you fight for them in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, I thank you that we don't have to fight our own battles. Father, you give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father, you give us knowledge. You said my people escape through knowledge and you're giving us a way of escape. You're part in the Red Sea, Father God, and we walk through on the other side, victorious, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you that we dwell in the land forever. Father, you said if we be willing and obedient, we will eat the best of the land. And Father, we, we humble ourselves and we obey you and we eat the best of the land in the name of Jesus. You, Father, you said the Lord will deliver us. You will deliver us, Father God. You will deliver us from the wicked and save us because we take refuge in you. And Father God, I thank you for Psalm 37 in the name of Jesus. You, Father God, you are our salvation. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him in the name of Jesus. And so, Father God, I cover this prayer with the blood. Father, and I seal this prayer in all of us with the eternal seal of the Holy Ghost. Father, I thank you that they who are gathering must scatter seven different ways into the abyss. We bind every evil strongman and cast them out. Father, but I I thank you that we have your favor. Your angels are fighting for us, oh God, because we come out victoriously and successfully because of you, Lord. And we walk away with the spoil. The thief has been caught and he must give us back seven times what he has stolen from us in the name of Jesus. Like Joseph, oh God, Father, we are blessed. Father, above those who try to attack us, oh God, we are blessed exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ever ask or imagine, Father God. Father, I thank you that you protect those who are humble father you exalt those who are humble and so father god i thank you for shaming our enemies shaming them father god father god block them let them not succeed in their evil ways in the name of jesus i pray amen 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 hallelujah for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory lord i thank you that we have on your whole armor we're soaked in the blood we have the anointing the blood and your word and we have escaped father from every trap father god the prison doors are open we have the keys oh god we have the blessings oh god i thank you in the name of jesus oh god and we win souls for your kingdom father god because we are living as true examples of jesus christ in the earth oh god you fight the battles because we stand still and we say peace be still to every storm father we will not be double minded we will not be distracted oh god we trust in you with all of our heart soul mind and strength and we lean not to our own understanding in all of our ways we acknowledge you and you will direct our paths for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans they gave you hope and a future and so father i thank you that you have spoken to letha kum and we arise in victory and we're no longer father rocked to sleep because of our pain and problems father we arise and we live life and life more abundantly lord i thank you oh god that we're clothed with your favor clothed with your favor and your justice and we will not be put to shame father thank you for the beautiful crown for our ashes oh god we're no longer in the ashes no longer in the valley of dry bones we're in the palace father god we are your chosen children we are your royal priest to the holy nation and we belong to you abba and you love us and we love you on repeat in the name of jesus i pray amen 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 hallelujah glory to god hallelujah yes lord we win on repeat